Hey, what's going on, guys? I got another test for you guys. Um, uh, what I did was, um, I don't know if you guys remember my previous video. I said I had one of the drivers that I'm waiting on to get in the mail um, already uh, here in this laser, but I didn't want to take it out to mod it. Um, but rather than uh, waiting for the new one to come in, um, a couple weeks keep you guys waiting I just decided to take it out and just mod it so what I did was I took one of the four uh, four pack uh, drivers and just added a 1 1 ohm resistor to it uh, so it brings it up to 1230 milliamps which is the same thing as what this stock driver I mean that's the, as what this driver comes here stock that I've been using in this laser for a couple months so it's uh, using the same output so, yeah, so where I put my glasses at? Yeah, yeah. All right, so you can see works fine. No problem. Okay, works great. All right. Alright, so what we're going to do is um, we're going to do the same test we did uh, with the 4-pack driver. Oh, I'm going to refer to as the 4-pack driver as driver 1 and refer to this driver as driver 2. Okay, we're going to do the same test as we did with driver 1 um, with take 1 1 ohm resistors because I'm still waiting on that digikey order. I don't know what's going on if it's around the holidays or but I should have gotten it by now. It's been like a week, so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add one one ohm resistor to it to see uh, what the values are we get. Uh, there's three things before we get into that that I see different on this uh, driver is the resistor on this side is uh, is larger, uh, but it has the same writing on it. So I think it's just uh, this one the one uh, driver one could. Ha could have had maybe a half watt to a watt uh, resistor on it and this could be maybe a two watt to three watt resistor I don't know um, that's why there's a size difference the inductor is larger on this one um, there's more of a coil around it as well and it has a 220 written on it the one uh, driver one has nothing written on it and the main thing that the area that we're going to be modding at is the resistor uh, the resistor uh, on driver 1 says R27 the resistor on driver 2 uh, says R22 so I think uh, basically it's a 1 ohms more than uh, what or yeah or whatever that is uh, because the stock driver on, uh, the stock output on driver 1 is 930 milliamps uh, this uh, the stock output of uh, this uh, driver 2 is uh, 1230 milliamps okay so also the efficiency of this driver I've read on uh, candle power forum is uh, anywhere from uh, 15 milliamps to 30 milliamps drop so on this driver I'm actually getting 18 uh, milliamp drop from its top output which is not bad Okay, so we're gonna add one one ohm resistor to this, and we're gonna get we're gonna get fourteen hundred and fifty three milliamps. Um, for every one ohm resistor I add, you're we're getting uh, two hundred more milliamps. Okay, so I'm gonna add another one one ohm resistor. And it's gonna give me sixteen sixty six, okay, um, sixty five sixty four, um, which will give me up. This is a point five ohm resistor, basically. I'm gonna add one more. It's gonna give us uh, eighteen fifty seven, fifty six around there. And change this. Add one more. It's gonna give us. Uh, 2.04 amps uh, this chip the 8 pin chip rated on this driver is rated for 2 amps okay so uh, a 0.25 ohm resistor would be the max that you should use 
um, maybe a 0.24 ohm resistor uh, might be uh, the max you should use but just to add one more you'll get 2.19 amps but I wouldn't recommend going that but I'll I'll make sure to test that to see if the driver actually fails to pushing it more okay so let's drop back down to uh, 1840 milliamps now for a 445 diode uh, me personally what I feel comfortable at is is 1800 milliamps so for 1800 milliamps uh, uh, you can see it's 1836 milliamps with three uh, one point uh, one one ohm resistors so basically you're gonna need for uh, 1835 40 1850 milliamps around there um, you're gonna need a 0.33 ohm resistor um, I have that one of those coming on the way but I want eight the 1.8 amps so I also ordered a 0.36 so hopefully the 0.36 is gonna give me uh, 1.8 amps give or take 10 milliamps okay so because um, that's what I want to drive my driver at because I'm I'm thinking about uh, using this driver in uh, my latest uh, two watt build, uh, swapping it out for the instead of using the LM350, yeah, I'm gonna use this driver duty, you know, better heat, uh, less heat with using this driver. Okay, and also this driver can run off two uh, six uh, two uh, three volt cells, no problem. I'm using uh, I've tested it with these two uh, ten energy cells at uh, 2 amps no problem uh, driver 1 the 4 pack um, has a little bit trouble uh, at uh, holding its max at uh, with 2 3 volt cells but uh, 2 3.7 volt cells uh, uh, work fine with either driver so if you have a host for example this and it can take an 18650 you know you can use this driver because if it ta if your host takes two eight, uh, takes an eighteen six fifty, you can use uh, two CR one two three A's, either three volts or three point six volts each. Okay, so that's that's a plus. And um, this this driver is rated up to eighteen uh, eighteen uh, volts, but I've read uh, a lot of people tried sixteen volts and fried it. So. I would say don't go past 12 volts okay so yeah I mean between the driver 1 and driver 2 uh, I see little to no difference and other than uh, than the better uh, stable more stable uh, this this driver is a little bit more stable than uh, the driver 1 when you're using it with two uh, three volt cells so yeah I hope this helped you guys out um, find a cheap driver that actually works great and runs at two amps no problem okay so thanks for looking I also want to ask you guys is I made a test load also last night the three amp version and I know I have it wired up correctly but it it's still it, it's getting hot when I'm testing this driver at, at 1.2 amps the dummy load is getting really hot after being on for one or two minutes it, it gets to the point it's so hot that you know I'm afraid it's gonna desolder itself um, is this normal is it supposed to still be getting hot because I thought that it's not supposed to start getting hot until uh, you get around the three three amps and I know the uh, these are the R no where are these the five four zero four uh, diodes so I know they're the correct ones they're the three amp versions like kind of from Radio Shack and this is a one ohm five watt uh, wire round resistor so I don't know let me know if it's supposed to be getting hot or if that's normal or if that's not normal or what what is the case okay all right thanks guys thanks for looking i hope this helped you guys out um
check this new driver out. All right, thanks. Bye.